Now, the Fox 61 Weather Watch with Chief Meteorologist Rachel Frank. Well, flooded backyards were a common sight today, unfortunately. I hope your basement fared all right. This is from Sean Tutank in Coventry. I'm not sure if you could see that there. That was a bench surrounded in water. I'm going to back it up so you can see it again because it clearly goes to show you that this is not supposed to be flooded in water. There it is. Kind of looks like a little private island there. And this is from Michael Beck, Shipyard Falls. It really made for a beautiful shot. The fast water flows. A lot of people saying it is normally a trickle and it is not raging like it was outside today. And this is from Steve. This is Coggenchog River. You can see it's fast flowing, very high, and almost up to the street there as well. It was not just the rain that we had outside today, but it was the storm that we had last week. And all of the storms put together that made me think, all right, I got to add this up and see where we stand for 2023. And as I was just talking about in my year review, we saw so much rain in July. I know you guys remember the wettest summer, but we are in the number four spot 2023. I mean, look at this 63 inches of liquid falling from the sky. So that's taking rain. That's taking all the snow that fell, although it wasn't much. You melt that down all the ice that fell. You melt that down and we're in the number four spot. And to do this without getting any tropical storms is even more impressive. And some of these other years you may remember for some big flooding 19 55 was one of the big ones. We also ended up setting a record today for the warmest daily high temperature for this point in the year. I mean, it just felt unnatural outside today when it stopped raining for a moment. How warm it was 64 degrees in the Hartford area. The previous record 58. So we blew that out of the water. The average high for this time of year is 40 degrees. Bridgeport ended up tying the daily record high temperature of 61. And here's another look at those winds, which gusted up between 40 to 60 miles per hour. The worst First, right around daybreak today, but the weather moving forward is so much better. We've got smooth sailing here. I say it's better, but I know that there's a lot of people that root for a white Christmas and it's just not going to happen for us this year. But the good news is there won't be any travel issues as we head into Christmas. And if you've got last minute errands to run smooth sailing for that as well, you still got to go Christmas shopping or buy stuff for parties. You're good to go. Lows tonight will be falling back into the 30s. Tomorrow we're looking at partly cloudy skies. High temperatures climbing into the lower to middle 40s as we head through the afternoon. There is a slight chance for a sprinkle or a flurry. Most of the state will not see anything tomorrow, but here's a look at the satellite and radar. Just a little little dot on there that I wanted to show you heading into Wednesday. Lots of sunshine temperatures above average climbing into the mid to upper 40s. Then for the arrival of winter on Thursday, we get closer to average highs in the upper 30s to right around 40 degrees for both of those days. But look at the rebound as we head into this weekend and heading into Christmas Day with temperatures up around 50 degrees. But we certainly do deserve a nice quiet stretch after those back to back rain and wind events. Guys.